This is Andy from HowEFIWorks.com, and today I'd like to talk about knock, ping, or detonation, and spontaneous combustion. For our purposes, knock, ping, or detonation are going to be defined as that sound you hear coming from the motor under high load that sounds like marbles in a tin can, often described as a popcorn sound, and then spontaneous combustion. For our purposes, we're going to define that as the ignition of the fuel and air in the combustion chamber that was not started by the spark plug. This is my standard drawing of a motor. I've changed it a little bit. What I've done is created a spark plug. Let's say it's yellow. It's not a very good drawing, but nonetheless, let's call it yellow. What we have is when the spark happens, there's a flame front coming away from the spark plug. As that spark creates this flame front, there's a huge rise in temperature and pressure in the cylinder. Our goal is to have that slowly rise, relatively slowly, and consistently rise and not get spontaneous combustion from pressures and temperatures in other places of the combustion chamber. So now, let's talk about the first source of detonation, or ping, is when the pressures in the cylinder are coming up from the spark plug, and it creates pressures and temperatures in the cylinder that create an ignition point from a different direction. Usually, it's coming from a sharp point in the head, or possibly a carbon deposit left from hundreds of thousands of miles of use on the motor. But nonetheless, what there is is some sort of ignition point that happens that cause spontaneous combustion so that we get a second same flame front coming across the cylinder. It's when these two flame fronts intersect is gonna cause the detonation or the sound that we define as ping. The second cause is the same sort of thing, but what it is, is as the piston's coming up, we get to pressures and temperatures because of the boost or because of a hot spot in the head where we get a spontaneous combustion again from this point, and that starts before the spark plug lights. Eventually, the two flame fronts meet in the middle, and you, you end up with the ping or detonation. But the source of this problem is generally heat in the cylinder head from poor cooling on the, on the motor, or sharp points, or again, the carbon deposit. The bottom line is we get the same sound that you hear from the passenger compartment that sounds like marbles in a can. So here's a little trick that you can find in the internet under what's normally called Debt cans or detonation cans. You can look it up under Google Images. What you do is take a standard set of hearing protection headphones, drill and tap them, and bring hoses in that are connected to a hose going into a copper tube. And what we do is flatten out the copper tube, drill a hole in it. This one doesn't happen to have the hole in it yet. And that mounts to almost anywhere near the center side of the motor on the block, possibly a motor mount or where the stock ECU with the stock motor had knock detection is a great place to bolt this thing, but almost anywhere on the side of the block works. And what happens is the detonation sound will show up coming through this, will resonate inside the tube and come up to your headphones. It's an amazing little cheap device that you can build at home. This is the normal sound of the valve train, timing change, that sort of thing. As he brings up the timing to 23 degrees, you will hear a static. That's the static sound of detonation that you hear through the cans. As he removes the timing back to normal, right there, you're back to the sound of the valve train. So now, in conclusion, not ping or detonation, whatever you want to call it, has pretty much the same effect. 
It can be caused by a hot spot in the cylinder head that is starting an uncontrolled flame front. It can be started by high intake temperatures, which can often hit two or 300 degrees F in a supercharged or turbocharged motor without intercooling. It can happen from having a air filter above an exhaust system and behind the radiator sucking in hot air into the motor. Almost anything that can cause high temperatures and high compression can cause detonation and it has to be avoided at all costs. I'd like to thank the guys at TunerStudio.com, the developers of Mega Log Viewer HD, the DIY Auto Tune that supplies all the parts and pieces we use to build the electronics on these cars, and also they supply the AMP EFI series of ECUs. And I'd also like to thank the people at MSExtra.com. Thank you for watching and be sure to hit subscribe.